So I think Dave's over here. Dave's waiting for me. I'll catch up, Dave. She's can never go fast enough. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Okay. So um, this is not a very interesting screen, Dave. Uh, why is that? Well, first of all, let me tell you, it's wonderful working in the labs doing uh, security research because security is such an interesting topic today. We've had so much impact with you know, the AES crypto and the, you know, processors that's already out there. You saw some of the most recent stuff in Paul's, you know, demo. And now, you know, I'm going to show you what's next for the exciting world of computer security. Okay, let's have at it. And what you can see here is, you know, with the uh, rise of social media, you know, an unprecedented amount of personal content is just getting dumped on the web. Right. And getting distributed everywhere, copied everywhere, and so forth. What we want to show is how we can protect people's confidential personal information, their pictures, their videos, whatever, their objects, online, in the cloud, wherever it goes. Okay. And, uh, you know, I love this demo because you can actually see the cryptography in this one, right? <laughs> all these are pictures on my oh, website. So these are all encrypted mm -hmm. images. Is that it? That's why they sort of yeah. have that, that scramble of pixels. And if that wasn't enough, we added facial recognition as a biometric authentication for all of these individual pictures. So if okay, I step over okay. here in my website, yeah. it says, oh, it recognizes me, this is my website. All these pictures decrypt, and you can actually see this happen in real time uh, you know, for all my photographs. And, you know, why don't you give it a try, too, Justin? Okay, I'm sure it just didn't turn them all on. All right, I'll try it. Let's see what happens. Okay, here I am. Whoa! Wow, oh, and I can see not all of the pictures decrypted. So how are you doing this? I mean, this is, this is a really computationally intense problem. Well, every single image here is wrapped in its own policy, with its own soft biometrics, which is why we can program to recognize mm -hmm. some pictures go for you. Wherever you put these pictures on the web, copy them on a USB stick, put them back, move them around, it'll always recognize based on the policy that's associated with it. It's just an egregious amount of cryptography that's going so, on. How are you using the multi-core and the many-core features to do this? Oh, we're not just using the cores. We're using the entire processing capability of the die. You can see on the graph over here that it's not just the CPU cores we're using in this demonstration, but processor graphics and its compute resources as well. So you see those spikes every time it recognizes one of our faces and you step in front of it. Yeah. You know, you get one of these spikes up because there's all this cryptography that's going on all oh, There it is. It's coming on the frame. And you know, this is using the entire platform as it is, and that's why it's so fast. Okay, so tell us, tell us exactly how it's done. Well, if we move to the, uh, you know, the slide, I can sort of show you the uh, stack that we're actually running on these things. I'm trying to get it to move, Dave, but it's not. Oh, there we go. So basically, we've got the CPU cores running the camera application. They're doing the actual recognition when we get a face. The AES new crypto instructions are doing all the actual you know, individual data decrypt in line with the display. And we have our social media applications and all the programming that you normally do on the IA cores. And then the workloads that we can parallelize very well, we move those with the processor graphics. So this continuous spatial detection isn't eating up your CPU resources. We're just running it over there on the side. You don't even know what's going and on. And we still have enough graphics capability to put up the, the screen images. Absolutely. So all of that's running through those pipelines at the same time. Wow, that is really amazing. True heterogeneous, multi-core, many-core computing, all in one box, all in one application. And keeping your data safe. And keeping the data safe. Thank you, Dave. Excellent. Give it up. <laughs>